Welcome back to DigiBros. We're gonna go fight the Psychic Gym. I I'm a Pokemon. I'm a medieval man. I'm a Pokemon. The, the fucked up thing about Haunter. Haunter's the only ghost Pokemon in this game. Okay? And Psychic is weak to Ghost. But Poison is weak to Psychic. And Haunter is a Poison Ghost Pokemon. So he's basically useless. Because he doesn't do what he's designed to do. Which is kill Psychic Pokemon. I think you might be horribly off base here. Watch as my Haunter gets his fucking ass kicked by a Psychic move. I'm pretty sure... I mean, he's probably gonna win because he's, he's pretty strong. I'm pretty sure Le Fergie, which I'm pretty sure was the Haunter yeah. in that run, swept this gym by himself. Well, he also used Hypnosis every time. Still, though, are you sure Either Haunter's way. the only Ghost Pokemon? He's the only Ghost Pokemon in this game. For real? Yeah. Because I don't think Ghost as an official type was a thing yet in the first game. Are you sure? I don't think it was like... Like, he was actually ghost type or poison type or anything. I think he was just a psychic Pokemon. I really have no I idea. Know, I always knew the types because of the card game. Right. And the we card never game the generalized everything. Yeah. yeah. I've always... When I was a kid, I had no understanding of the actual in-game types because of the card game. Yes. Which we played probably a lot more than the games. Themselves. Yes. We did. Um, and they put psychic, poison... And ghosts all in the same type, so right. it's super confusing. That is especially And then confusing. it's just psychics weak to psychic. I didn't find out that they were, like... See, yeah, that was super effective. I didn't find out that they were actually three different types since everything until, like, recently. Yeah. Like, the last couple years I found out about, like, the way the Because in the, the older games, they didn't just put worked. the types on everything, you know? No, they were not just, like, listed on every move like they are now. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could look into the move and find Yeah. It, but... Uh, dumb. Usually, dumb. You're dumb. Dumb. I'm. I'm dumb. I'm certainly dumb. I am dumb. This is what you know. You know I am dumb. Uh, I'm a you dumb man. Probably use your victory bell against some of these fucking slow pokes and shit. You know. Oh yeah, that gets their water. Yes. You are right. Splow. That's not very effective. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it would be. I don't know because the Pokemon cards taught me <laughs> that psychic is weak to psychic. And so every once in a while I go, is that gonna work? And then it doesn't. Because they're weak to dark and ghost. I still have it in my head. I don't have a bite on anyone. Oh, I need War Turtle because he's got bite. Razor leaf. Use the Razor Leaf. Watch out! Yeah, yeah, bitch. Suck a dick. Fucking slow, dick. bro. Suck, Suck the, big, the dick. big dick. Suck the big dick. Suck the big dick. Suck the big dick. Suck the big dick. What I never knew is that apparently, like, when you buff your Pokemon, it stacks. Like, when you send out a different Pokemon, it's still, like, the buff applies to all the Pokemon. The fuck's up with that? Is that a thing? Because, like, I watched some video of some dude, like, battling online using using a Caterpie, and he, like, sends out all these other Pokemon and, like, uses these, these buffs and, like, stacks a bunch of buffs and then sends out Caterpie, and Caterpie's invincible. And I was like, I didn't know a stack, a buff on one Pokemon, like, applied I mean, to all the Pokemon. On what, what buff it is. But it just said, like, like, like this guy buffed himself. Like, like, reflect affects the whole team. Uh-huh. Maybe it's something like that. What's like up with that? moves that affect your, that are, that are team moves in some This is how Pokemon. fucking little I know about Pokemon, dude. How do you not know that? I don't know shit about Pokemon. <laughs> I just, I have, I just beaten every Pokemon game. <laughs> Pokemon's not a hard game. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It is designed to be beatable by a three-year-old. Yes, and that's why they made Pokemon Uranium to fuck you in the ass and make you wish you were dead. Oh yeah, share your thoughts on that. It's all the, the Pokemon are fucking retarded looking. They look like Neopets. Uh, some of them are cool, and the game is fucking hard. <laughs> yeah. They took Pokemon and they drained the satisfaction not, out of it. It's not. It's that they made it tedious. Yes. Because that's like because the only reason that Pokemon, like the only reason it's hard is that it mm. it's harder to like literally kill something. Yeah. Like, and like you, you kind of have to grind and try to get over leveled because everything is stronger than you. 
and then everything takes forever to kill because you just don't do as much damage and then it takes out the satisfaction of like the the funnest parts in Pokemon are when you can go up to a dude and annihilate him in one hit like I just right. did like that's the whole fun of like training up the right types of Pokemon and, and like anticipating what you're gonna find and in this game it's just kind of fucking random everywhere there's too many types and like you gotta get too many dudes and everything is are these weird mixed types that don't really balance out very well and so it just becomes a big hard clusterfuck right. and everything well, has all the Pokemon like I've looked at the moves they learn throughout the game and they don't learn shit and like they don't learn anything good until later levels and then it's just you don't have any enough attacks to get through anything well something I, I realized from watching monkeys let's plays is that Pokemon rarely is about a battle of attrition yeah. It's usually about strategy and knowing who your opponent's going to be. Exactly. You know? It's about like, anticipating what, what you're going to have to fight and right. then preparing for it. And then like, it. making the right moves. But like, almost never is it like, I'm slowly whittling away at something's health all fucking day. Yeah. You know, like... It's not fucking Final Fantasy. <laughs> right, exactly. Because And the reason it's not is because in Final Fantasy, you have a team who are all fighting at the same time. Uh -huh. And so you have to strategize around what all of your characters are doing in relationship to one another. And, like, uh, Jesse was talking about how much he hates status effects in Pokemon. Yeah. Like, that, uh, you know, you get affected with something, and it's such a pain in the ass to have to switch out your Pokemon, and you lose a turn, or if you use an item, you use, lose a turn. You know, like, status effects really fuck you. And, like, I think the reason... That, that that's annoying is that if it was like Final Fantasy and one of your characters gets like uh, put to sleep then your mission is like what character can I use to wake them up while yeah. my other ones you know balance the the rest of the fight but the reason it works in Pokemon is that the battles are short every Pokemon only dies in like a couple hits if you're yeah. doing your type matchups correctly and that doesn't matter what level you're at like if you're watching monkeys Nuzlocke on a uh, crystal then, like, he's purposefully two levels higher than the gym leader's strongest Pokemon in every fight. Yeah. And he still makes them end pretty quick, you know? It's never, like, this unbelievably long, drawn-out battle. And so I think to make this Pokemon... This dude just keeps recovering. <laughs> I think to make Pokemon hard in the way where, like, it's just hard on a basic level is, like, kind of missing the point. Like, the challenge of a Nuzlocke has nothing to do with the game itself being annoying to play. It's about, yeah. like thinking it's all about strategy it's uh -huh. all about like you know being playing smart it is about you know i can kill the enemy in one move and he can probably kill me in one move right. so i have to make the perfect move exactly whereas the it's like chess. This other game is just like the enemy stronger than me no matter what right <laughs> it seems like they just like like the stat progression of your pokemon is just lower than the the enemies or something we're like you have a pokemon of the same level but you're doing less damage and it's, it's fucking weird. Brick break. 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 What do you mean brick break? Uh, 75. What is revenge? Harden. Seismic toss. Is it better than... Oh, well, it's definitely better than Harden. Harden makes do you, you ever strong. you use that? Yeah. I mean, fuck bind. Not yeah, fuck bind. Harden's cool, dude. You can get tough. <laughs> you can get hard. You can get rock hard. Be strong! Be hard! Be fucking tough. Flex your muscles! I'm gonna heal my guys, and I'm gonna actually buy a bunch of fucking potions so I don't keep healing. Oh, whatever, I ended up in another battle, because I don't know how to get out of here. Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> gotta get out of here! Uh, what was I talking about? Uh, Nuzlocke. What was I saying before that? I was talking about something I don't know, dude. that led me Pokemon into that. Uranium. Oh, yeah, Uranium. Nuclear Lullaby. Um, what were we talking about before that? I don't fucking know. Um, Boom! Yeah, Haunter beats Haunter, dude. What else have you done? I've What's played a bunch of Pokemon. I, I know you tried to Nuzlocke oh, run, but then shit. you just got sick of it. Uh, yeah, it was very quickly I got annoyed with it. I was just like, wait a minute, I don't want to fucking lose my Pokemon when I die, I like the Pokemon. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Like, I, I think that watching someone do a, a Nuzlocke is like... It's so exciting that it makes you want to do it yourself, but it, it just like everything else in life, there's a huge difference between enjoying the process and enjoying yeah. the product. 
enjoying the product of I the Nuzlocke like, is one I really thing. just wanted to play Pokemon again, but I wanted it to be different, you know? Right. Like, I think that's why Nuzlocke's were invented, is so you get a different experience than just playing the game again. Right. And I was like, well, that seems cool. And then I was playing the game again, and I was like, I don't want to fucking do this anymore. Like, I got halfway through the game, and I don't fucking feel like and training dudes. And you just ended up playing normally. Exactly. Because you've never actually had a problem with playing Pokemon yeah. normally. It's <laughs> never become it. something you're super bored of and need to change, uh -huh. so... Like, what's I just point? usually beat all eight badges and then stop before the Elite Four because it was like, I've beat this five times, I don't fucking care. Start, stop whenever it stops being fun. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. It's pretty fucking inconsequential, like, I don't right. care. <laughs> it's like, whatever, I sunk 20 hours into it because I wanted to listen to podcasts. It doesn't doesn't make a difference. Well, that's how you ended up watching all of Monkey's Nuzlocke's because exactly. you were playing Pokemon. Because I wanted to listen to podcasts. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and since I've stopped playing Pokemon and watching those, then it's harder to watch those because I don't have, I'm not playing Pokemon. I stopped playing fucking, I was playing the Shin Megami Tensei Fire Emblem game, hashtag FE, but then I haven't been playing podcast. it because... Well, it's because it's harder to watch podcasts over that because it's got so much story and so much reading. Right. And then it's... It's funny because didn't, didn't Jesse just put out something on JRPGs? And Yeah, it was because he, the, he the put Nippon out the... Ichi games. Yeah, the Nippon Ichi games. And I was like, it's just like that, where it's just like... The the older I get, it's the, hard, the harder I can play a JRPG, where right. it's just like... Because it's not there's, worth it. There's for the such time a, a difference between it, but then, like I spent so much money on the game, and it is cool, and it it is fun, but then it's just like the battle system isn't in depth enough to make you really want to like keep going into it. Right. And so you're just like, I feel like I've played the whole game already because the battles are only so complicated. Right. So what am what am I doing? You know, it's not as fulfilling as like Fire Emblem or something where it really challenges you. It's just like. That I'm playing a weird, goofy story, and I'm, I'm doing, well, I I'm think fighting monsters. I think the reason that Pokemon manages to ironically be the most appealing game for adults is mm. that it doesn't require any investment. There's yeah. no fucking story. You don't give a exactly. fuck. Exactly. You're just you're just plugging away, and right. you're you're seeing your your level ups go, and right. you're getting and new attacks, like and you it's can, cool. You can spend. You can play the game for like. 10 minutes, win two fights, level up twice, save and quit because yes. you've done enough for today. Exactly. You, know? like, you just go at your own pace. It's not a big deal. You, you don't have to stop for hour long cuts. I'm trying to get back to the entrance. Um, uh, is it this one? That fucking woodpecker is tripping me out. Yeah, dude. It's, dude, it's, going it's the insane. Whole time. It sounds like a machine gun. I never hear woodpeckers, and then yeah. all of a sudden, it's He's just going, going at the it, whole man. show. He's getting it done. Um,. He's gonna build this house. But yeah, like, uh... RPGs are tedious, and it sucks, because I I like them, and I, I liked them growing up, and I just can't do it anymore, you know? Well, cause and I was... I'm just like, should I sell this? Should I sell the game already? Like, should I try to play it again if I'm not, like, hooked? Because it, it's fun! It's just like... <laughs> like, I can't do it, I know it's gonna be 80 hours long, you know? Just to beat it. That's the thing, like, with, with all the... Like, exactly as Jesse was saying, it's like... They have such a great aesthetic and such great ideas, yeah. but then the writing is just shitty. And it's just like, it's lo it's too long. Yeah. They don't try to cut anything because they're trying to make it cheap. And it, so it they, is on the one hand where it's like, you know, it's an episodic journey and like you get character development and stuff and it's just like, yeah, but you, you start to like them and it's cool, that. but like, you can just watch an anime, you know? Right. That's because when I was when I was a teenager, I was super into JRPGs because it was like anime. Because yeah. it was like, this is the most like, you know, like the most story you'll get out of a video game. But then, those stories are never that interesting. It's yeah. always the same shit. You're always exactly. saving the world from some kind know, of godly people talk force. Up, talk up Persona games like they're so great, you know? So I'm just like, this is made by those guys, and it's it's such a fucking absurd plot that it's it's fun. Perso I, I and mean, then I'm just like, is it gonna be? Is it gonna be a great Persona game, or am I just gonna be like, eh. even Persona is vastly like overstated for the click because the thing is that persona is great because it has great characters yes. and great stuff but it's not like well written 
Mm. It's not like There's something that you're... There's people so overpraise those games that I'm just like... That's true of every video game. You're right. Every video game with a story is overpraised because people who play video games aren't used to stories, and so when there is a story that has any depth whatsoever, then it's the best story ever. When if you just, like, open a book, then, like, within one page, you get more fucking character development than you get in, like, half a fucking yeah. three hours of a game, you know? Like, yeah. fucking, like, The Last of Us, where people are praising it as this cinematic masterpiece piece and the greatest fucking story ever told but if you actually watch a great movie it blows the last of us out of the water yeah the last of us does not compare to like a wes anderson film in terms of uh -huh. having interesting themes and great characters and great writing and great cinematography it has none of that it's just a kind of good zombie story yeah. this, i mean it's not bad it does have some interesting themes some pretty decent character development i i think it's fine but it's not a fucking it's nowhere near the level that is being reached by stories in other mediums, you know? And that's not to say that games can't have great stories, but that, like, you know, I think people just give so much credit because it's a video game. Yeah. And because maybe they're not experienced with, like, really great stories, you know? Where do I... What do I do? Um, I don't know. Who do I... Where do I go? Why don't you just always go into whatever is the bottom left? Bottom just left? Just always use the bottom left. Okay. Uh, Just keep going into the bottom left. There you go. Hey, okay. Why did that work? Because it's like when you're in a maze and you have your hand against the left wall. Oh. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, eventually you're going to find your way out. That, you were right. That girl is, looks super weird in this game. I guess. Fart! I like this name. Remember in the Fart. anime where Sabrina was basically just an autistic girl who didn't have any friends, and that's why she was evil? Do you remember that? She was like, she had psychic powers, and so she was alienated from everybody because they didn't understand her, so she shrank everybody and made them live in a town. Yeah. Like a miniature town, because her parents, like, I she didn't... shrunk down her parents and made them live there. <laughs> I didn't think autism, though. And they basically explained to the main characters that she's autistic, and that's why she trapped them there. But that she's actually a good girl. Okay. And then there was, like, a little girl version of her that's, like, her psyche, because she still has the mind of a child. And, like... Okay. Look at... See? Look at that. Fart got annihilated by Alakazam. Well, it is Alakazam. Now we're gonna send out Dickless! Dickless, who is like 12 levels lower. He, he's got it. <laughs> Good luck. It has Revenge. no bug attacks at all. He's fucking dead. Oh. Uh, revenge! Wow. Very but it was revenge. It's a fighting attack! What are you supposed to get revenge? Fighting is weak to psychic! I needed revenge! Aw, uh, poor Dickless. Uh, I will. Use Avenge retarb. you, dickless. Fucking retard. But psychic's not very effective. I guess I could use surf, whatever. Yeah, it won't That'll be that work. effective against him either. I should use amnesia. I'm retard. You cannot psychic attack me. Retard. He's the best. Hello. I what a dank ass Pokemon. Fuck yeah, dude. He is pretty fucking Retard's dank. Retard's the fucking best. Definitely, I think Slowbro might be one of the best Gen One Pokemon. Why do you got a Venomoth, dude? This is poison type, bro. Get fucked. It's like poison and psychic, isn't it? Something yeah, like something. I don't. I don't fucking know. I got a poison. Dick. You're right. Uh, look at that. Yeah, bitch. Done. My fucking is done. A momentary lapse of reason. That is the greatest line of all time. <laughs> Avery, that is my favorite Death Grips line. <laughs> really? My existence is, is a momentary, momentary lapse, lapse of reason. reason. So fucking good. Got the DNA of gothic lemons. I think that's the next line. Jesus. Shredded 13 times out of 11. Your bad ideas are the ATM. Shed my skin. Leave it for the homies to sleep in. <laughs> Prodigal. Fuck that. Nautical. Teaching bitches how to swim. I'm in. What a fucking great song. <laughs> that song is amazing. That might be the best death group song. Soon your crew will be serving sandwiches named after me. Vietnamese style fool, please. I gotta say, I've gained a much stronger appreciation for that line now that I've tried Vietnamese sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Dude, next time you go to, like, okay, I went up to that Miss Saigon place, and they were like, you know, 
pho and sandwiches. And I was like, fuck the pho. Give me the sandwich. Amazing. Uh huh. I've had sandwiches at the pho pla at pho 79. Amazing. And they're like half the price of pho. They'll give Whoa. you like a $5 sub sandwich that's fucking incredible. You were right. Now I gotta get the fuck. I'm gonna use an escape rope. I don't care. <laughs> fuck Makes it. Sense to me. Alright, well, we finally beat that gym. How about you save the game right I'm now? gonna save the game. <laughs> Saving, don't turn off the power. Farquad saved the game! Save the game. It's just like, see, this is a true fucking Pokemon Let's Play, okay? We, we're we bringing you the real nostalgia. You're, right. We're bringing you the real nostalgia of, of your Game Boy dying when you're a child, or you lost the back of your Game Boy, and so the batteries keep fucking popping out all the time and making you lose all like, your fucking Pokemon progress. This is a real Pokemon Let's Play. An authentic Pokemon Let's Play. With all the hassles of true Pokemon playing. Yeah, definitely... All the nostalgic hassles. The, the irony is that you're probably worse at this game than you were as a kid. Because as a kid, you uh, probably just had a starter that was level 50 and no, blew away No, because I never gym. played that way, dude. You never played that no, way? No, I didn't, because I was a fucking pro. I don't believe you. I've always had at least four good Pokemon. I don't believe <laughs> And then you. usually, a, like, a, a fifth or sixth guy that I really want to be good, and they just aren't. Uh, uh, that's I need it to for teach someone to fly, goddammit. Uh, are we gonna keep playing? Do you yeah, dude. To? We're fucking... We've got this. I meant tonight. Oh, I kind of want to drink, but otherwise... Uh, you, you save the game, and that's it for this episode, and then we'll we'll go see if we can come up with something to talk about. <sighs>